how y'all doing? Um, you're in the dark with Barb. Um, today was kind of a bad day. Um, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> um, I had called the pound yesterday. And I normally call the pound whenever I find animals in case um, the owners are looking for them. So I called and told them that I had found three dogs and that two of them were alive and that one of them was dead and got hit. And I explained to them what the dogs look like and they took my name and my number and um, Well, I ended up getting a call, and um, I got a call back. A lady was looking for her dogs, um, and they fit the description, and it was um, about three miles from the area that I found the dogs at, and um, so they asked me what I wanted to do. I said, well, I guess she can come to my house and get the dogs. And um, they said that they would send a truck out and um, meet me at my house. I said, okay. Because they took a case number and everything. Um, so the lady calls and um, I give her directions and I told her that one of her dogs had um, died and um, she really didn't seem very upset and just from the conversation, you know, I, I don't know. So she came and um, I have mixed emotions little girl got out of the car and she went up to the big the bigger dog and gave him gave her a big you know hug and I'm like oh that's really sweet and um, then she came up to me and she said oh I'm so glad that um, the dog that died was the the other little the other little black dog because my mom didn't like that one. She said it didn't have any brains and she was hoping that um, that was the one that died. And then she looked at me kind of embarrassed and um, she explained to me that she actually had five dogs missing they had gotten out of the, dug out of the fence, and um, this wasn't the first time. She said, thank God for the dog pound, because they've saved me on a couple occasions in helping me find my dogs. Um, I told her that if she didn't want the dogs, I'd keep them, and I'd find homes for them. Um, she said that they were a pain, and she didn't know what she was going to do with them. And I said, well, I'll take that little one right there. And she said, um, well, if I wouldn't have spent so much money on him, I'd give them to you, but I can't do that. I said, all right. And then... Um, you know, the pound was kind of upset. They said, um, okay, well, what are you going to do with your dogs? And she says, well, I'm going to, I'm going to take these two home. And they said, well, how about your other dog? And she said, well, that dog was, um, you can just take and dispose of the dog how you see fit. I really don't want that dog in my car. How can somebody <laughs> have a pet and, I don't know, not 
give it a proper burial, expect somebody to do your dirty work. I mean, I don't know. I guess accidents can happen and dogs can get out of fences and I don't know. We have a dog that is always getting out of the fence and um, I leave him inside when I go places and um, overnight, you know, the dogs stay inside with me. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't feel like I did the right thing. And then I got kind of upset because, well, she had five dogs. One of them died and she got two back and she's got two of them that are still out there missing and you know they had this dog truck and it had other dogs built you know on the truck they were some kind of I don't know hunting dogs or something and she was like what are you gonna do with those dogs and in um, he's like he kind of rolled his eyes said you know I'm not sure what they're gonna do with them and she's like oh well I'll take them off your hands you know, and he's just like looking at her, you know, and she's like, well, you mean I have to pay for him if I just take him now? And he's like, I can't give you these dogs. You'll have to go through the, you know, the pound here. I don't know. I just, she didn't even, I don't know. I hope I made the right decision. I just, I feel so bad, you know, I don't know, I, I didn't want to let him go, and it's hard, um, how could you not take your beloved dog home and bury it, I don't, I just, I don't know, how can you leave that for somebody else to do, that was your dog, okay, oh, maybe I'm oversensitive, I don't know, but she got her dogs back. They got a bath and they got fed. And um, I guess it kept them from, you know, going into the pound or something like that, I guess. I don't know. But I told her if her dogs didn't work out, you know, to give me a call and I'd either try and make a home for them or, you know, give them to somebody who, you know, um, has a bit more time on their hands. Uh, I don't know. Because I'm kind of bummed out. I always go through this. I don't know why I take these dogs. I, I'm such a sap. I'm such an animal lover. And... my heart. I hate giving them away. I wish I could keep them all. Um, and then I gave her a leash <coughs> so she could, you know, put the dogs in the car. And uh, the dogs didn't want to go in the car. They put up a fight. They looked at me. They looked at her. And she had to pick that big white one up and stuff him in the car. And uh, he was not very happy, or she was not very happy. Um, and then she turned around, and I think she knew I was upset, and she tried to hand me money. And I'm like, no, I don't want your money. Um, just if your dogs don't work out, let me know, and you know, I'll make sure they have a good home. it. She left.